I work hard, you know. As long as I work hard, nobody tell me what to do. Nobody tell me what to wear. I live my best life. One thing about living in um All right. Shalom. Call Lo Yim Lo Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakwadash. Which is the Paleo Hebrew. For the one true name of the Heavenly Father being Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly calls God, or Allah, which both of those words are titles simply meaning power. He has one name, again, being Yahweh. And that of the Messiah, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. The letter J wasn't even derived until the 16th century, man. All right? So that clearly couldn't have been his name either. As it is written, there is no other name given among man whereby you must be saved. All right, point blank, period. I'd like to give a double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone. As it is written, in a sincere peace, love, blessing, salutations unto all of you hopeful, faithful, potential members of the elect out there doing the best to make the calling of your election sure, man. All right, or willing you endure that you may be solidified as the elect, man, that you may be crowned of Yahweh Shah again, as it is written, man. You see, all these things are written within this book that we uh, uh, that we all claim to believe, man. Or at least, you know, some of us. And yet, you see how the world has completely created a, a, a lifestyle separate from these scriptures, man. All right, and ultimately, this is the... Uh, this is the doing of the base of man. This is the doing of those who are in rule. And it was all prophesied, man, that you Israelites would fall off, be enslaved, be scattered into these nations, right? And the wicked would bear rule. And now that the wicked have bear rule, you see, just like in the video, where they've masked this word freedom with sin you got this woman running around her whole body showing and what have you and she's saying that she loves being in America because of it man and again America's pushed this idea so I'm going to go ahead and grab some scriptures so I'm not speaking too much we'll go ahead and start with a prophecy that I had made mention of All right, and we could go to many places but one that comes into mind in particular would be the book of Daniel um, let's see chapter 8 and uh, verse verse 21 alright I'll actually go back to verse 20 it says the ram which thou sawest having two horns was the kings of Midia and Persia you gotta remember man that this was during the time of the of ancient Babylon <laughs> the kings of Midia and Persia weren't even a thing yet man you see this was the next ion to bear rule so this is being prophesied since before that time since before those nations bear rule and he continues to go on man through the spirit verse 21 it says and the rough goat is the king of grisha and the great horn which was between his eyes is the first king so he's prophesying every eye on to bear rule on the planet earth now we could go back to genesis 25 where it tells us how esau will bear rule for a time so let's go ahead and continue right as we're reading the grecians coming into power this is the beginning of their time of power man now we could go ahead and precept that to First Maccabees, right? To these different um, scriptures that go ahead and uh, expound upon the time when that prophecy was beginning to come to pass. You see the the Grecians coming into power. All right, we'll find that all in First Maccabees. So to get a proper understanding, right? That's where we'll kind of jump around. God, forgive me. So going on, uh, verse uh, twenty. And basically, this is the beginning of evils, man. In fact, let's go ahead and just jump to, uh, just real quick, to First Maccabees. All right, because I do want to get that one in particular verse. Again, you know, this will kind of go in on the context of when it's taking place. All right, so it'll expound upon what was being prophesied about. If this thing's going to load, man. Come on, all right, there we are. It's First Maccabees chapter 1. And, uh... Let's see, verse, uh, yeah, verse, 
Let's start at verse 1. It says, And it happened after Alexander, of, after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and the Medes. You see, so again, this is where it's coming to pass, right? It says that he reigned in his stead the first over Greece, right? So what did it say? There was one horn, right? Going on, it says, And made uh, many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth. And he went through, so this is the beginning of their reign, man. This is the beginning of Genesis, the 27th chapter, coming to pass, right? He will break the bonds from off his, uh, off his yoke for a time, man, right? It says... Um, and he went through the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations and so much that the earth was quiet before him whereupon he was exalted and lifted up in his heart and he gathered a mighty strong army and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him and after that he fell sick and perceived that he should die wherefore he called his servants, such as were honorable, and had been brought up. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. Daniel seen this, man. And he still got people who just don't even believe in the Bible. Unbelievable, man. It says, And had been brought up with him from his youth, and parted the kingdom among them while he was yet alive. And again, this is even detailed in what uh, Daniel saw, which we'll get back into. Verse 7, it says, So Alexander reigned twelve years and then died, and his servants bear rule every one in his place and after his death they put crowns upon themselves so did their sons after them many years and evils were multiplied upon the earth right so there you go man right evils were multiplied upon the earth and now you see now you see where it's let it man now you see where it's let it and you're gonna see these ions right how you know eventually after the Grecians and the Romans, you're going to have a nation that comes under the same uh, uh, banner, if you will. The same people, man. The Idumeans. Alright, the Edomites again. Genesis, the 27th chapter. Alright, so these nations, these Edomite nations beginning to bear rule, leading to their height of their hierarchy, which we're living in today, man. And now you see all these nations following after the uh, glitz and glamour, all right, or in other words, freedom that they've advertised to you, man. And as it's as people, as they say, right, not everything that glitters is gold. Hey, this shit's leading you to your death, man. You pe Look at this woman right here, for example, right? You know she's going to go through, you know, different men or whatever the case may be. She's going to go through some things, we'll just say, right? And what's that going to lead to? That's going to lead to problems in your relationship relationship if you ever find one a proper one right <laughs> it may lead to broken households right hey and then you over here complaining because your hands are dirty even though you were digging in the damn soil man so you see you people have been led to a state of 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 of, of just repetitive destruction man and again that's underneath the banner of this devil esau man and and hey, the book of Revelation refers to it as his image, man. He's pushed pushed <laughs> he's pushed this image throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Alright, and now you see the uh result. <laughs> I mean these are heathens that are now doing this, man. You see? Let me go ahead and grab something real quick. So here you have the four generals of Alexander, man. Right, and then what he did is he broke down this crown, right, his crown upon his deathbed, and separated among them. And this went as as we read, right, according to how prophecy panned out, which again we found in the book of Daniel, anyway, right. Um, evils were multiplied upon the earth, man. So let's go ahead and jump back to the book of Daniel again, chapter eight, and pick up where we left off. Um. verse 22 it says now uh we'll go back to verse 21 it says and the rough goat is the king of grecia and the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king now that being broken whereas four stood up for it four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation but not in his own power hey so there you go man four kingdoms 
shall stand up out of it, right? He broke that crown into four separate generals, man. All right, and then great evils began to multiply upon the earth, all the more so. All right, you got to remember these guys are moles. These guys are doing all sorts of weird stuff. And again, we were given what? Since the very beginning, Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6, right? We were given the list of laws and ordinances to separate us from all nations, man. The creator created the creation and gave us uh, uh, a list of laws on how to conduct life within it, man. So we are the true judges. This is why, this is why uh, uh, the book of Job chapter 9 and verse 24 tells us that what? That the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick and jump back. Oh, let's lock you. This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24, and it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. So now that the wicked are in rule, the true judges have been covered, man. And now this place is being ruled by wicked, oh, wicked judgment, man. Judgment that's not carried out right underneath the laws that the heavenly father gave but judgment that's carried out underneath the laws and morals of the base of man the border of wickedness as the scriptures describe him right and that's why he's been able to put you people under a state of deep sleep and line his pockets with your debt as you're in this continual cycle of destroying yourselves man running up your debt running up your credit so you could run around and be a damn hoe man right <laughs> that's it Hey, you people have been bamboozled, man. You people have been lied to. You see? And as these... The the base of man is, is growing fat off of it, you are destroying yourselves. Again, by the illusion of freedom, man. <laughs> the Most High gave us a list of laws, and now you people act like you're only free when you don't have to follow them. It's wild, man. Those laws were given so you could keep yourself from, from alive. So you could keep yourself alive and from death. You see, because what is the wages of sin? Death. What is sin? The transgression of the law, 1 John 3 and 4, man. And modern science will still prove all them laws. When you break one, what happens? You get some type of disease. You, you, you uh, uh, commit sodomy, right? And you could get yourself a disease from it, man. You uh, eat shrimp, crab, lobster... Well, now the ocean's going polluted because the natural filters of it are missing. And your body is going polluted because you were told not to eat those things and you ate them. You see? So the earth has been turned upside down, man. That's why the Heavenly Father said, what? The, the, though thou turn, the turning of things upside down, hey, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna straighten it back out, man. This devil thinks he's slick, man, but he got another thing coming. You see? So, yeah, so it's four generals, man. All right, let's go ahead and jump back to Daniel. Picking up where we left off, um, verse 23, it says, And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to a fool, a king of dark countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up right and eventually that that king king came out who was antiochus epiphanes man all right antiochus epiphanes wound up being one of the next kings to to rule all right within uh within this 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 edomite this new edomite hierarchy all right it says uh verse 23 Verse like it, verse uh, 24 it says, and his power shall be mighty. And, and and again, you'll see this as you continue reading through that first Maccabees as it goes, it begins to start talking about this individual here. Why is this individual so important? Or why is he anyway uh, uh, highlighted and looked at? Well, due to the fact that he, uh, he had the lot to rule over Israel, man. These other nations had their places to rule, but this man in particular was ruling over and therefore oppressing the Israelites, man. As it is written, hey, the Heavenly Father has some things lined up for those of you who offend the apple of his eye, who touch the apple of his eye, which is likened unto you Israelites, man. So you Israelites are a very special people, man. All right? But though you've been put on the bottom, all right, and this devil's coming to power, he's, he's set up and he studied you people, man. 
That's why he studies us, right? Puts us through different science things and studies our mind and what we're reactive to, right? Sees how to hear how they could sell things to us and how they could promote things to us, man. And now you see what they have <laughs> brought it to. And it, I'm, I'm not just concentrating on just this in particular, but this is a, a very great example, man. All right. So going on, it says, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power and shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Right. And these were the first nations to come into power and not have a right. They had a, a they had a new government being formed, man. This is when the republic. Right. When the uh, democracy was being created, man. All right. You didn't have just one key. You had, you know, uh, uh, things were separated, man. All right. So he had his four generals separated that between them. Eventually that led to uh, Antiochus Epiphanes. Eventually you had the Romans come into power, which destroyed Rome in 70 AD. Hey, and then it was said, what? That out of the bottomless pit, you wound up having who? The, the, the virgin daughter of Babylon, if you will, man. All right. America. A horror that sits upon this new beast system, which is new beast system in today's modern time would be likened unto NATO and the EU. All right. Hey, the Heavenly Father has some things planned, man. The Russians, all right, these different nations, they're going to go at it. And it's all going to result in a theocracy. It's all going to result in the last rule, which is going to be underneath the Lord. And those of us who are learning how to come back from this dark place we've been brought to, man. Going from mortal to immortal. You see, this is a, a transition that's taking place right now during this grace period. And for those of you who ain't on it, hey, the only way out of this flesh other than that is death, man. I'm going to receive the same fruits of these wicked nations and what they've done to us, man. You can die right along with them. Horrible, man. Verse 24, it says, um, And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and holy people. Again, because his rule was over Israel. Verse 25, And through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Now, this is what this, this devil has done, man. He's caused craft to prosper in his hand. He shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. Look at how America was even occupied. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but shall be broken without hands. So when did Antiochus, when did Antiochus Epiphanes, or anybody for that matter, stand up against Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai broke them without hand? This is a future prophecy, you see? So this prophecy, right, even though some of it's come to pass, not all of it has, right? This is what's going to take place with, you know, what would come forth out of this uh, beast system, or out of this beast system being prophesied about being the Grecians to the Romans and then as I said out of the bottomless pit eventually you'd have Britain out of that out of that the bottomless pit in other words you'd have Babylon man all right it says and the vision of the evening and the morning which was told was true wherefore shut down uh shut thou up the vision for it shall be for many days Hey, so there you go, man. So this devil has really put things into play to cause craft and wickedness to prosper, man. To cause you people to to, to really worship him. Rather or not, you know that you are. Let's see. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians, or 2 Thessalonians, forgive me, chapter 2. And uh, verse... Eight, it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord which shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. So this is how he's broken without hand, right? It says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Why, right at his return, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. See, so his he's not Satan. The whole world, what Christianity told us that the spiritual demon Satan would get out and cause the world to take Kragma. Now that prophecy is unfolding, we're learning. 
that it is, in fact, his physical counterpart, right? That made all this come to pass. That pushed forth those laws and, and, and such. Those laws and ordinances have caused craft to prosper. Be in the base of man. Be in Esau, Edom. The Caucasoid. It says, uh, verse 10. It says, and with all deceivableness, he's deceived you people. Of unrighteousness in them that perish. Hey, this 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 woman could, you know, she could be a, a, a very good wife to a man. All right? And living a very good life doing so. But instead, right, she's living a life that's going to lead to a... To vexation, man. Perhaps suicide. Perhaps somebody gonna snap. <laughs> you see these people, they're going through it, man. And at least we see the bigger picture, right? So going on, it says, um, verse 10, it says, And with all the deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved, right? To anything to them, this ain't love. And that's why she's saying, well, oh, no one tells me what to do. Oh, it, you're telling me I have to do this, that, or the third, right? Again, if they get rules, they act like, <laughs> you know, they're being persecuted or something, man. These rules are to keep you alive, you see? These rules are for your benefit. But again, it's been given only to you Israelites, man. So for now, right, you Israelites are the ones who need to get right. Because the scriptures make it very clear, man. Where hey the, the 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 these this curses came upon us. In fact, we'll go ahead and and close it here, and I'll grab that before I do. But before I uh before I do that, man, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one more precept. Or in fact, I'll just go ahead and jump to what I was gonna grab. This is the book of Baruch. Uh, I believe it's chapter four, chapter three. Um. Oh, there we go. Baruch chapter 4 and verse uh, 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, so being returned, seek him ten times more. For he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy and salvation. Hey, man, so, right, once we return, then the earth's going to be healed, man, and that's going to bring to pass, right, the kingdom of heaven being established here on earth, man. As it's written, uh, uh, pursuant to the book of Micah, the first chapter, right, the uh, uh, the kingdom will be established on the earth, man. And all these heathens are going to learn the ways of righteousness through us, man. All right? Which is going to cause, instead of craft to prosper, it's going to cause life to prosper, man. It's going to cause life to flourish on this planet earth. In fact, we'll go ahead and end it here. This is the book of uh, Zephaniah, or it's like Zechariah, chapter 8 and verse uh, 12, if I'm not mistaken. And it reads, for the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the and, and not to mention what they've done to the fruits and the vegetables and what have you, man, polluting the earth and such. It says, and the ground shall give her increase. The ground shall give her increase, man. We, we live in a world that you get one orange, you plant that orange, has several seeds in it. You get several trees growing, those trees grow more oranges. That's, you see, you get, you get the point, man. Why is there world hunger? You see, again. Hey, this place has been ruled by wickedness, man. And though you people think you're living, you're being persecuted. You see? This is what's going to bring forth righteousness. Right? As it is written, all tears shall be wiped away, man. Right? Revelation 21 and 1 on down. It says, And having, uh, and the heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. Right? Because it was meant for you to possess in the first place. But since you went off, we went off, right? For those of us who are returning to uh, uh, learn how to judge, to learn how to be a ruler, to learn immortality hey they're gonna be ready for this next step man this next this is the next step in your so said evolution <laughs> not no AI step man you see Esau is trying to do it on the left hand side but the Heavenly Father got another thing planned man so Lord willing this edifying until next time call like him like how about you Shabbat Shimon Kakwadash the brother Gar Shalom